For breakfast, we went to Cracker Barrel and I got the fresh fruit and yogurt meal. And to acquire this perfect sweet potato in the microwave, make sure you stab it vigorously. Microwave it. Really excited for this meal because I love like stuffed potatoes. So I have a sweet potato, there's some sliced turkey in there, and a fourth of an avocado on top. Yum. Green beans are my favorite vegetable because they're so like available, but I love to fill up on vegetables because they're so nutrient dense and so good for you. But yeah. All right, so I just have some green beans, and so I have low carb tortilla wrap by Mission, a some turkey, some spinach, some guac. All right, guys. Good morning. So this morning I found this really cute breakfast on Pinterest, and it's a banana split bowl. I'm gonna try that out. I just cut the banana in half, put Greek yogurt in the middle, and then added all my toppings. Also, I may not show it every day, but I do have coffee, so just keep that in mind. I just wanted to come on here and say, I don't want y'all to think that like I'm 100% in love with my body because I'm totally not. I pretty much struggle every day with my body image and like not loving myself, and I'm just gonna be honest. But one thing I've learned is that your how you feel about your body should not reflect how you treat it. Used to, I did suffer with like from an eating disorder and that's how I felt. Whenever I felt bad about my body, I treated it like crap. I didn't give it enough food. I would overwork it and it started showing and I didn't look good. I looked unhealthy. My face was sunken in. Like on my birthday, my eye bags were terrible. It was just, I looked sick and I was. I just had a shower thought and I thought I would share it with y'all because I really need to start living like this. I think that God put it in my head, but it's that we need to stop treating our bodies as if they are products instead of people. You're a person, you're not a product. Your body is not supposed to look one way forever. Like whenever there is a product, literally this thing of dish soap, they take forever, months, maybe years to perfect it and they can control every single thing about it. You can't control every single thing about your body. There are so many dependent variables that you can't change. You can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about your genetics or anything like that. Stop treating yourself as if you're a product and not a person because you're human and you deserve to treat your body the way that you would treat a young child's body. All right, so I have a piece of toast with two eggs. I got some turkey under there, fourth of avocado. I've actually been liking like a loaded toast more than, sorry, also sorry about my nails. Let's just disregard that. I've been enjoying like a loaded toast more than like two pieces, not because like I'm trying to cut back, but just because I enjoy the flavor, the feel of it. All right, and now I just got some Brussels sprouts on the side. I may or may not come back for the rest of those. So we're having dinner really early. It's like four o'clock. That's why I didn't have a snack in between. I'll have like a Greek yogurt bowl or something later tonight, but I have green beans. Under this gravy and peppers is a hamburger steak and a red potato, just brown gravy. For dessert, I just had watermelon, strawberries, blueberries, and some peanut butter. Sorry about all the birds, they never stop talking. If you remember from my last What I Eat in a Week, I talked about how I really like to stop eating between like eight and nine, usually before eight. I'll eat again after eight the next morning. But I like to do that because I feel like it really gives me time to digest my food, everything to like kind of just take a break. Today, I definitely did not eat as much as usual. I've been really nervous and when I'm nervous, I kind of lose my appetite, which I know is not good, but that's why I've been adding some healthy fats in every meal today because they're a little bit higher in energy. I didn't have to like eat as much to get the same amount of energy. I forgot to record, but I had oatmeal with some powdered peanut butter, frozen blueberries, and banana. All right, so we got the sweet potato, corn, turkey, spinach, and a little bit of guacamole, and <laughs> drizzle of Frank's red buffalo sauce, green beans, of course, and water. But I enjoy this lunch, get a workout in, probably make y'all my birthday cake protein shake. Mm. 
I think. I don't know if I have all the ingredients. But. My post-workout snack. Um, the workout wasn't really that difficult, so that's why there's not any like protein or fat or anything. Just some fruit. I was really just craving some fruit, so that's what I'm gonna give myself. I have an apple, watermelon, and way too many frozen blueberries. I was trying to pour them in there. It's a three-pound bag of them, and they kind of just like look like I don't know. They just they just came out. So. Two small, medium red potatoes, a chicken breast that I've cut up, and broccoli rice cake with, I have half a banana and some powdered peanut butter. Also, look at my nails. Oh my God, that's... All right guys, good morning. Today I'm going to be trying to make these healthy crepes out of the protein cake mix. I don't know if it's gonna work because I don't know if crepes are just a thin pancake batter, but. Okay, so <clears throat> we probably would have like three more, but I messed them up, but I feel like I finally kind of like, so they're not supposed to have holes, but you know, we're just gonna like ignore that. If you like, just look at the bottom half. Wow, that's a nice crepe. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's looking like. Not mad, but let's just dress them up, get them all cute, and then enjoy. All right, so here is the culprit. I just have like banana, strawberry, banana, strawberry, banana. I put PB2 inside of them and let's try them now. I'm kind of nervous. Never had crepes before, so this probably is not going to taste like them, but I tried my best. Oh my goodness, that is good. Wow. <laughs> now I'm gonna start making these a lot more often. That is so good. 10 out of 10. Snack time. And this day I just had leftovers, which was the chicken breast, the red potatoes, then some veggies on the side. All right, so for supper, we got green beans, of course. And then we have ground turkey and lettuce, red hot sauce, these Mission low carb tortillas. And for breakfast, I decided to have a Greek yogurt bowl that consisted of bananas, blueberries, peanut butter, and kamut puffs. First off, aren't you enjoying that cinematic shot? But I was eating some watermelon while I made my lunch, which was just some sauteed spinach, turkey, avocado, onions, sweet potato, the huge. We got some shrimps and some noodles made out of vegetables. So that makes shrimp pasta. And I was in a rush on Thursday morning, so I just had a Greek yogurt bowl with some fruit and peanut butter. Also was in a hurry, so I had some cauliflower, turkey, and avocado. So for a snack, I just have half a cucumber, some watermelon, and some blueberries. And also, look what I did! As a snack, I had some pineapple at my grandmother's house. Turkey, ham, two red potatoes, green beans. It's like 9 o'clock, guys. Today was just not it. Didn't even work out. Whatever. For dessert, I'm having pudding, jello, sugar free pudding. But honestly, I'm just having a really bad body image day because, like, I know that tomorrow we're gonna be at Nashville Shores and I'm gonna have to be in a bikini. I was like, oh, I shouldn't eat anything after supper. Yeah. Also, don't recommend it has erythritol in it. All right, so right now we are at the Loveless Cafe in Nashville. So we're just eating breakfast here. I ordered an omelet with, first of all, no butter or oil because like last weekend, whenever I got those egg whites at Cracker Barrel, I forgot that I can't eat butter because like, I'm basically like 
like butter intolerant like lactose intolerant i'm butter intolerant so that's a problem and then so i got without butter or oil but it has peppers and onions in it with some salsa and i'm just having some lemon water we're going to nashville shores today so it's like a water park and i've been trying to eat like a heartier breakfast since i know that i'm gonna be busy and like not really have a chance to eat i've also packed a lunch because i know that they're not gonna have options and like one of the key things to staying healthy is being prepared like yesterday had i been prepared the whole day i don't think i would have overeaten so so for lunch i brought some turkey wraps with apples and carrots and then for supper, our dad surprised us and took us to Cheesecake Factory, which is amazing. It's my favorite restaurant ever. But then we went and looked at the cheesecakes because, of course, we're going to treat ourselves 80-20. You know what I'm saying? So then we go back and we get our food. My little sister wanted me to show her chicken tenders. Then I got chicken taquitos off the Skinny Licious menu. What, what do you give it out of 10? A 10. How about yours, A.B.? I would give mine a 10. How about you, Heather? <laughs> Me too. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday, dear Annabelle. Annabelle. Happy birthday to you. Woo! <laughs> Then I ate my entire cheesecake and about three-fourths of hers. Thank you for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of what I eat in a week like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If we get to 30 likes, I'll make another one, school edition. And make sure you subscribe and like. Thank you. Like.